What is going on everybody? Andrew here. I am in a parking lot. Tried to do this video last night, but the sound was just absolutely horrific. So we're gonna try this again. It's a little windy. Hopefully it comes out. I'm going on a section hike of the Appalachian Trail in a few days, and this is my gear. We're gonna start with what I'll be wearing. I'll be wearing a hat. I might switch to a lighter colored hat because it's hunting season. Kind of want to be seen instead of blending in so much. Um, I've got some black diamond Ergo, Trail Ergo Cork uh, trekking poles that are really nice. I've had those for a while. They really, they really uh, keep my hands from swelling up, which is great. Uh, gonna be wearing just some smart wool underwear, merino wool socks, uh, REI shorts. These are just trail running shorts with a couple pockets and a zippered pocket. And then this is my shirt. It's a smart wool hooded merino wool long sleeve shirt. Keeps me temperature cool. Uh, it's not like a temper. Uh, it's not a burning hot. The sun beating down on you with the hood and the long sleeves. It's really really nice. Uh, in addition to that, I'll be wearing shoes similar to these. These are the Brooks. Cascadia's. I've got Brooks Calderas. They're trail running shoes and they're super comfortable. I've been wearing these. I wear these to work almost every day, so I'm going to go with a pair that's not as worn. Uh, in terms of what else I'll be having on me, that's it. I'll probably have my phone in my left front pocket and um, that's it for what I'll be wearing. The rest will be in here. This is my pack. It's an Osprey Talon 44. I've had this for a number of years. It's a really nice pack. I like the size, I like the organization. Uh, the weight isn't too bad either. It comes in less than three pounds and it holds all my stuff. Normally you buy your pack first and then fit your gear to your pack. I did it the opposite way. I built, I bought the pack first and then fit my gear to it. I like how the, I just, I like the, the back panel and then the straps are comfortable, it fits on my back well, so that's why I went with this one. As you can see here, I've got two water bottle holders on the shoulder straps. These hold one liter small water bottles. These are made by Justin Anderson, He's just a guy out in California, a hiker, and they keep the weight, just helps disperse some of the weight, keeps it forward. Uh, I got a bandana, and then in here I'd have the stick pick, which is what I'm gonna use to help film. It's gonna go on the trekking pole and then you attach your camera to here. Pretty secure. In the other pocket I've got a Leatherman Micra and a small compass. On the side here, I've got just a sit pad. I might leave this at home in favor of another smart water bottle. It's dry up on the trail, so I might in terms of just space, I might leave this at home and put a, another water bottle here, if, unless I can fit it in with on the side like this. These are my tent poles and stakes are in here, part of the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2. In the outer pocket, it's a mesh back panel, not mesh, but it's like an elastic. I've got my rain gear, uh, it's the OR, the Outdoor Research Helium 2. And then I also have z packs pack cover for uh, waterproof, for rain, the rain cover. And then the z packs Versalite rain pants. And that all sits in this outer pocket. And I can get to it if it's raining, I can get to it quickly. Or if uh, it's wet, it can stay outside of the pack and not get anything wet. Like I said, I like the organization of this pack. Uh, it has this top panel, which can be used to store some of my stuff. This is a Sawyer, uh, Sawyer Squeeze, not the mini version, next to an airport. Here's some toilet paper and a Deuce number two trowel. Uh, these stuff sacks, pretty much all my stuff sacks are made by a guy in Pennsylvania. His name is Chris Stoy. He's in the backpacking gear flea market uh, group. And uh, he's made all these, made some custom ones for me. So this has the toilet paper and 
some trowel. I would probably put some hand sanitizer in there. This is the toiletries. I've got, I gotta put a little thing of deodorant in here, but I got some tissues, toothpaste, sunscreen, um, body glide, super important because if you get chafed, it's really, really bad. And then Q-tips, Q-tips are my absolute luxury item. I cannot live without Q-tips. So that's my toiletries. I also have my electronics. This is a custom one that Chris made for me. It's just more, it, the zipper is smaller so that there's less chance of things falling out when it's open. Basically in here, I'm gonna have my phone charger and headphones. I don't have them in here because they're in my work bag. But then my cord to charge the headlamp. And then this is an anchor, 1,000 milli, 10,000 milliamp PD Redux. So it's super small. It's less than the size of my hand for sure. It, uh, but most importantly, it does fast charging, which is important for my phone. Otherwise, it takes unbelievably long time to charge. I can get fast charging and it goes much faster. And then another reason I got that battery is because it will accept USB-C to charge in, so that is one less cord that I have to bring and it'll help charge it faster. And then the last thing in here is the spoon, C to Summit Alpha. It's the longer versions to get back, to get deep inside whatever bag or pot I am in. And then also, there's a little pocket here and this is my Nightcore 25 lightweight uh, headlamp, weighs about an ounce. I just have a shock cord strap. That is it for up top. And again, I just, I like separating some of these smaller things that you might want to have more often and having to dig in the pack every time. If you flip over the pack, it has another zippered mesh area right here. So that, this is a first aid kit. I can keep that in there. Another pa another stuff sack made by Chris. This has a reflective tape on it in the form of a cross. So you can shine a light on it and be able to see that if it's dark. Uh, this is basically a repurposed AMK 0.5 ultralight kit that I put in here. And then this is a trail wallet again made by Chris, and it will fit some cash, cards, health insurance card, stuff like that. So that sits neatly in there. So then we'll get into the uh, meat and potatoes of the pack. Got a couple of straps to keep things in there. And as soon as I get it open, I'll just tie it in a knot to keep some of the string from flapping all over the place. First thing is a Z-Pax 40 liter pack liner. I've had this for a number of years. I got that pretty much as soon as I got the pack, just for waterproofness, since the pack is not waterproof. And it's got a zipper enclosure with a roll top and fits the pack perfectly. Before I do that, I'm gonna go to the bottom. Another reason I love this pack is let's say it is raining and I need to get to my tent first, I can unzip the bottom here and I can have access to my tent and I don't have to pack it in the pack liner so that if it is wet, I can keep it separate from all my stuff that I want to stay dry. And it's a, like I said, it's a Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 with the footprint. And then it has some sleeping pad straps. If I was gonna be camping and it was gonna be really cold, I could attach a uh, foam pad in addition to my air mattress. So my insulating layer is a Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer hooded version. Uh, it's, I was gonna go with the ultralight Montbell Plasma, but it was it's twice the price, a little bit lighter. This is a little bit heavier. 
Uh, the Montbell didn't have the color that I wanted, so uh, I went with this, which enabled me to upgrade my pad to the Big Agnes X AXL Insulated. This is the regular length but wide version. I am a side sleeper, and this is just more comfortable than my old pad. I've got the Z-Pax possum down possum gloves and the Versalite rain mitts because it is potentially going to rain uh, two days while I'm on the trail and I don't want to have cold hands. This is the Ventum rain shell by Z-Pax, which is just in case it's a little windy in the morning and I just need a little little protection. It is going to be chilly and I'll get to that in a second. This is my cook set, which is an MSR Titan inside a Tokes stuff sack. And inside that, I have a scratch pad and a bandana as a pot holder. And then this is a Tokes 550 ultralight cup mug pot, BRS stove, and they're hot lips and a Bic lighter, a mini Bic lighter in there. And that fits all in here. It's about nine ounces. I could go lighter. I really am not planning on cooking except for one meal, which is the first night where I'm gonna have a Nor side and some chicken. But other than that, uh, I'm just gonna be heating water and rehydrating. So I could cut down weight on that if I wanted to, but I'm just, I'm not going ultra light. I made that decision and uh, we're gonna leave it like that. We got an extra pair of socks and the Z-Pax fleece hat. The food bag, I tried to, again, I tried to make a video last night, but the sound was awful. This is three days worth of food in a light AF large food bag. It's got a flat bottom, so when you put it down, it stands, it doesn't fall over. Um, it's really nice, it came with the rope and a carabiner and a rock bag and the thing that you would use to stop it when you're a bear bagging. Now, the last thing in here is my sleeping quilt with my sleep clothes. I'm not gonna take it out, but it is, I've got long johns and then a 40 degree down quilt by Cedar Ridge Outdoors, along with another pair of sleeping socks, pair of underwear, and a shirt. I'm probably going to have to switch it out because it's supposed to be in the low 40s. The forecast changed. It was originally supposed to be around 50 as a low. So I think I'm gonna have to bring my 20 degree quilt. I'm glad I didn't sell it. I live in Florida and I don't really need a 20 degree quilt, but I'm glad I didn't sell it because I'm gonna need it in there. And then also, if you can see, there's a Wilderness Designs uh, sleeping pillow that I got from the backpacking gear flea market group that's run by uh, Steve. And then this is an 11 liter stuff sack by Light AF. And it all fits neatly in here. Um, I had all six days worth of food in here and then I, I got rid of it or I mailed some of it ahead because I don't need to carry all six days worth of food since I'm going to be going by mountain crossings. And everything just, everything fits in this pack perfectly and I'm glad I stuck with it. I might wind up upgrading to a more, uh, to a lighter pack in the future. But for now, this is, this works just fine. It fits perfectly. Uh, I can get the weight pretty much how I need it. And it packs up well. I will have to take a bunch of things out to to get to my food bag. And I'm kind of rushing right now, but As the, uh, day, as the days go on, your food bag gets lighter and that means your pack gets lighter. So I've been planning out my itinerary. I'm planning on doing some big mileage. I'm gonna get dropped off. I'm driving to the end point. 
and I'm gonna get a shuttle back down to the start at Springer and then I'm gonna hike probably to the Springer shelter spend the night there and then wake up early and hit the ground running so that's it uh, I'm gonna link this to my Instagram account so you can leave comments because I still can't leave comments on the YouTube channel but uh, if you like this one give me a thumbs up hit that uh, red subscribe button and uh, we'll see you we'll see you on the trail